Hey, happy sunshine family. I went back to the detention hearing transcript and I wanted to point out, <laughs> I just remembering and thought it was funny on page 23, uh, line 11, the juror asked Parker Still, what does that mean, I-UV? And his reply is, I don't know, ma'am, I'm sorry. IUV.com, IUV.com. And <laughs> that just made me chuckle to remember that. And I was wondering if there was any updates that have happened over at the IUV website or have been posted there. And, and there is a new update. So I'm going to bring that to you. And this is from yesterday, September 18th. 2017 on Randy Bean. Randy Bean's birthday is September 29th. So I've got uh, some blank postcards, just some blank white postcards, and I will print out some text and some neat shapes and stuff and send them off to Randy for his birthday. <clears throat> so here's the update. Randy's elbow counsel has been appointed, Steve McGrath. RKB and McGrath are working closely together and our team is all working as support, research, and various get it done skills. Randy and I have been having phone conversations. He says are very valuable to him. I can share with you that part of those conversations are about the quote unquote news I catch him up on. This touches on different dots that are revealing themselves on a variety of different subjects and sources that are coming together painting the truth as the curtain is drawn back and all is being revealed. If you are noticing things that are some of this quote-unquote news and quote-unquote dots, send them along on your postcards. Randy says, Quote, everything feels good, end quote. Randy's birthday is Friday, September 29th. <clears throat> if you feel so moved, I know he would really appreciate lots of mail to arrive before or on his birthday. Specific details and suggestions for getting the mail through to him are do not send a quote-unquote birthday card. He will not get it. Do send white postcards or white cardstock, 8.5 by 11. On the address side of the postcard or stock, your full name written out, your return address. You need to write out your full name, not just initial or first name and last name written out. This address in the to section. Blount County Jail, Randall Keith Bean, ID 318-366-920, East Lamar, Alexander Parkway, Maryville, Tennessee, 37804-5002. On the message side, use black or blue ink. Use your words to create word pictures, stories, whatever you like. Randy can feel your energy and all that you infuse into the card in addition to the actual words written. So know that all of your message gets through even if it does not have pictures or bright colors, etc. Then we've got an update on the next court hearings for Heather and Randy. The court set a motion hearing for October 18th, 2017 at 9.30 a.m. So we got about a month for that, guys. Before U.S. Magistrate Judge C. Clifford Shirley Jr. <clears throat> then we've got a, a quote inserted in here. The court observed that Defendant Tucci Giraffe has already expressed her intention to file a dispositive motion contesting the court's jurisdiction. The court set a motion hearing for this and any other pretrial motions for October 18th, 2017 at 9.30 a.m. And this is important, this quote here. It's using this word dispositive, which I went over as we were discussing the duties <clears throat> and the authorities of a magistrate judge. And we can just pop right back over to that. And it, generally speaking, 
Magistrate judges handle non-dispositive matters, but they will handle dispositive matters by their own order with party consent and district judge approval. So this hearing that's happening on October 18th, Judge Shirley is being supervised by Judge Varlin. Nothing's going to happen without Thomas A. Varlin's blessing on it. All right, back over to the IUV website. So this is about a dispositive hearing, meaning this hearing, a motion's been filed that uh, depending upon the way it's decided, could cause this to be the end of the case in the courts. <clears throat> so BZ says there's no such thing as a jurisdiction hearing per se, as most people go with the assumption slash training that the judicial system has authority over them. Heather is not contesting that Eastern District of T Tennessee does not have jurisdiction over her, because she believes it's another federal court district. Heather is contesting, in total, the court's jurisdiction, period. This is where the One People's Public Trust, 1776, filings will take center stage in the courtroom. So, that's a really interesting update from BZ. And I don't know if Let's see if we can find, oh, where is that last update from that listed Heather's website? <clears throat> that would be an easy way just to find that link. <clears throat> uh, we're getting close. Okay, website right here. We'll see if there's any updates from Heather on her website. Well, guys, it's looking the same to me. Still no updates from Heather. Okay. So there you've got it. A little bit of an update. I love you guys a lot. Keep the beautiful comments coming in. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to cover really quick. Let's pop back over to Firefox. <clears throat> it looks like uh, one of my subscribers, uh, looks like he had a name change too. Looks like he switched over to the light side of the moon. Um, he's starting up his own YouTube channel. Where is his comment where he states that? Here it is. I'm starting my own YouTube channel, as I'm sure I have something to offer. It says, as a former weather forecaster for the United States Air Force, this gives me great pause in reference to the Waging War with Weather series I'm doing and talking about uh, my suspicions or just the observations I have made of my father uh, that make me wonder if he's had a hand in any of that. Uh, here's his resume. He worked at DARPA. Uh, he was in the U.S. Air Force. He worked on Project Forecast 2. Well, I know the weather's forecast. Uh, he ended up at Air Force Systems Command at headquarters. So this guy who's got a Q plus and top secret plus security clearance right down here, you know, he's not, he's definitely not talking uh, to me. And I have suspicions that he might know something about what's going on. So it's really nice to see other people who are in the know and connected uh, also acknowledging these observations. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm the second subscriber on his channel. Right now he's got two. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's a he. I, I don't know why I say that. It, it could be a she. Um, so, check back for more updates really soon. Send me some love, light, and links to lunacy at protonmail.com. And thank you so much for all of your continued support. I love you guys a lot.
We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.